So it goes without question that the Montreal Canadiens' latest top prospect in the 2023 draft, David Reinbacher, has been a pretty big story ever since his name was taken in the fifth overall spot. He's now played in six AHL Laval Rocket games, and he's got three points, one goal, two assists, and he's been looking pretty all right in his limited transition into the AHL so far. Half a point a game certainly isn't bad for an 18-, 19-year-old defender. Add on to the fact that he's got all these intangibles, he's big, he's right-handed, he's fluidly skating, defensively sound, and his shutdown game actually seems to work better on smaller ice surfaces than compared to what he was doing in Switzerland. Not to mention the fact that the Rocket are a much better team, yada yada yada, there's a lot extra that you can fill in the blanks in when it comes to David Reinbacher and how good he has been. However, what I wanted to do was go over some depressing comments about David Reinbacher in regards to his initial draft process. Our source comes from TVA. They published this article earlier yesterday, or no, I think this was two days ago on the 29th, talking about some quotes made by David Reinbacher's father, Harold Reinbacher. It depressed me, quote unquote. Essentially, this article goes over some of the comments made by David Reinbacher's father in regards to the reaction on social media when David was initially taken by the Habs. This is not for the faint of heart, and if you are one of those nasty Canadians fans from about a year ago who were saying some of these things, then I'd kindly ask you to leave and probably unsubscribe. I don't want those kinds of people here participating in the conversations that we have. The opening paragraph of this article, link by the way, is going to be in the description. I translated it from French into English talks about what Harold Reinbacher, David's father, said, Montreal is the craziest place in the world in terms of passion for hockey, but there are things that are said and others not. Would some Habs fans have preferred the Canadians to draft a forward instead of David? All right, that's their right. It's part of our game and it's legal. But hearing or reading people associate David Reinbacher or his pick with the Second World War is very difficult. It depressed me, to be honest. Now, what in the world is Harold Reinbacher talking about? And if you know what this is, then just bear with me here, because to those who don't understand what's happening and why there were comments made about World War II when David Reinbacher was drafted, take a breather before hearing this. So part of the reason David Reinbacher garnered a certain amount of hate at last year's NHL draft was because, quite simply... He's not Matvey Mishkov. Mishkov was available at the fifth overall spot. The Canadians could arguably have used a guy like him. Top-tier goal scorer, KHL superstar, a guy whose name was linked so consistently with Connor Bedard's name up until last year's draft season, where he was played under unfavorable conditions in the KHL. He didn't get as much development time. He was still good, but not maybe as good as we expected. But there was a very real and very obvious benefit of the doubt that you could give him. So Canadians fans wanted the Habs, I'd say in general, to draft Matvey Mishkov, and when they didn't, and they took Reinbacher instead, some bold and outrageous Canadians fans took to Twitter to say some pretty nasty things about Reinbacher, who was born in Oenems, Austria. Some of the tweets went out there and said, oh, who is the worst person in human history to come out from Austria? And they'd post stuff like, oh, David Reinbacher, or somebody else whose association with the Second World War is very obvious. And there were a bunch of tweets that said this kind of stuff, and it was getting retweeted and reposted everywhere. It was a really nasty time for Canadians fans in the few days after the draft, once David Reinbacher's name was chosen. And a lot of that wasn't his fault. It was just, you know, Canadians fans being salty that they didn't get Mishkov. It made itself known even worse when Kent Hughes said, essentially, that, oh, we drafted Reinbacher because he's a right D, and he kind of implied that if Reinbacher wasn't a right-handed defenseman, if he was left-handed, if he wasn't somebody in that spot, the Canadians probably would not have taken him because it kind of spelled more so the idea that they were drafting for need rather than drafting the best player available. But alas, it's been a year. Reinbacher's been in the system. I think Canadians fans have had an opportunity to calm down about the selection, and now everybody's excited. Like, the video we made about Reinbacher's first AHL game is at 10,000 views. That doesn't seem like a guy that people don't care about. 
But Harold Reinbacher, David's dad, goes out there and talks about this in the media. More than nine months have passed since the Habs initially selected David Reinbacher, but certain wounds are still raw in the heart of his dad, Harold. If the young defender's recent and promising debut with the Rocket triggered an immense wave of love towards the player, the Reinbacher family also experienced the other side of the coin last June. While several Canadian supporters would have liked to see the club draft a forward, some of them, in reaction to selection of the right-handed back, made odious and completely inappropriate comments on social networks. Comments going well beyond hockey were published repeatedly for many weeks, and which were seen by the family of the Austrian skater. People didn't even know David Reinbacher at the time, recalls Harold in a generous interview with TVA Sports, and they allow themselves these kinds of comments? He's a humble, kind boy. David wasn't even born during the Second World War. His grandfather took part in the war and never spoke about it with him. Reading all of that was terrible. I still don't understand why these stupid comments were posted. If you're smart enough, you'll never do that. The worst part is, these people would never have the courage to say that to his face. But they can say whatever they want behind their keyboard because no matter what words they write, they have no consequences. I confess to you that I stay very far away from all of that now. It's difficult. Now, by the time David Reinbacher is making millions and millions of dollars and he's helping his family out and everybody's, you know, supporting him in the NHL, it'll probably be a bit easier to stomach. But of course, once the guy got selected and all these nasty people were making nasty comments online, it's difficult to shake that away, especially when that becomes your whole world, you know? Once you're drafted into the NHL, I could imagine that it's all you think about for the next few days. All you or all your family is ever able to talk about is, hey, you got drafted into the NHL, you're a top five pick. You're an illustrious player in the sports history. But of course, all of the crap that Montreal Canadiens fans threw at him was there too. In Switzerland, almost no one recognizes us. In Quebec, and I experienced this in September, it is simply impossible for us to go out for coffee without being asked for an autograph. The people are mostly very nice. People seem to be getting happier with David's selection, and it soothes my heart. The article then talks about what Harold Reinbacher's reaction was to David's first AHL game, how he, you know, had a good chance to see it, and he watched his son do the thing, and there's a lot of extra good insight here from Harold Reinbacher in regards to the Clotten season, how David was playing in Switzerland and that organization over there and what they did for his development. But at the end of the day, you know, this is a bleak reminder that sometimes you should just do what you can to be a good person online. And that does not include harassing players and sending them angry DMs and talking about how you want their dog to die and everything and leaving nasty comments on their Instagram posts and saying that they get owned by other players or how other players are better, Matvey Mishkov this, and especially comparing David Reinbach to one of the worst human beings to ever exist in the history of the planet. But uh, yeah, it was a thing. And if you were on Canadian Twitter, you know exactly what I'm referring to. David Reinbacher and the Second World War? Huh, what could that connection be? It's like the New York Times connection puzzle. What's going on here? Either way, though, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read more about Harold Reinbacher's insight. I will say, I only really read, like half the article in this video, there's an entire other section about EHC and Laval that Harold Reinbacher so graciously lends his opinions towards in the article. So go ahead and check out the article if you want to see what the Reinbacher family's response has been to David's debut so far. But at the end of the day, with all the love comes all the hate that was there a year ago. And I do think it's important to acknowledge that there was a very big wave of overwhelming emotional dread that some Canadians fans experienced last year upon the Reinbacher selection. Everybody likes it now. Everybody likes him as a prospect. Heck, you could even not like the pick itself. Say, yeah, I think Reinbacher should have gone a little bit later. I think Matvey Mishkov should have been the guy. That's fair, but I think... Most Canadians fans, especially in the general body, feel a lot more open and receptive to the pick now compared to a year ago. At least, straight after the draft a year ago. Wasn't better after Kent Hughes made those comments too, but either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this depressing David Reinbacher update. I hope you enjoyed this Vidishash Rolls 99, and bye.